Hey, what's going on everyone, it's Jason, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do a quick text reveal inside a DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All right, so we're inside the Edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. Let's come up to the Effects Library, left-click on that, go to the Effects here, and then we've got Fusion Composition. We wanna left-click and drag that into the timeline. By default, this is five seconds long, okay? We wanna increase the length of that. So you see the five there. Let's go to six seconds. And just for this particular animation, I'm gonna drag this out a little bit. You can do whatever you want. Left click and hold the comp, and then that makes the Fusion Composition six seconds, okay? Now what I wanna do is take this, left click on Fusion tab. We're inside the Fusion tab. Take the media out, drag that over here. Left click on Background, and drag that node into here. Now take the gray part of the background node, left click and drag that to the yellow part of the media out. And this will be the background area. So by default, it goes to black. We're gonna change that to blue by left clicking on blue here, and then left clicking on this blue area. I don't particularly like that color blue. We're gonna go a little darker. And now what I wanna do, instead of two windows, we have a side by side. We're gonna take this down to one window, left click on this right here, and go to single viewer, okay? To get some text inside of this composition, what I want to do is left click on the text plus node, drag that to the yellow line, hold it over it and release when it's blue. That'll create a merge node, which puts the text plus on top of our background. Left click text plus, which is green, okay? And that's over our background. We can't see any text yet because we haven't typed anything in. Come up to the text box, type in text reveal here. We're gonna make this bigger by left clicking on size, dragging that up, make it nice and big. Left click on shading here, left click on the number one to get three drop down, and then hit enabled. Nice drop shadow behind our text by doing that. We're gonna drag that down just a little bit and decrease the opacity right to there. I don't like it to be so bold when I'm doing it. The next thing I wanna do is add a transform node to this, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but left click on text, left click on transform, automatically puts it right here in line. Left click on text right here, Left click on mask. All right, so that's our rectangle mask. It chopped off a bunch of our text, and that's what we wanna do, just not to this extent. Left click and drag this here, widen that mask out. And I can do that either from here, or I can do it from over here in the width column, right? Just do this, or this. Same thing with the height of it, I can use this, or I can left click this and bring this up or down. Let's just do it like this for now. Now what I wanna do is a very simple text animation for this. So we're gonna select text by left clicking here, I like to start at the 30th frame for this particular animation. So we're in the 30th frame. The next thing I need to do is come up here to the layout, left click on layout, select this because this is the position we want our animation to end in, okay? So left click on the keyframe there. I like to come to the sixth keyframe, you can do whatever you want, and just bring this now, left click and drag this and bring this out of the mask area, right, where it's revealed. So bring it down here outside of the mask where you can't see the text. If I hit spacebar, it'll play, and you can see our really simple animation, okay? Doesn't look that great, looks okay. We can improve it and make it better. The next thing I wanna do is come up here and left click on spline, and then left click on text. I can't see them, so I'm gonna left click on this and drag this out a little bit. Left click here, there's our keyframes. Left click, make a box, drag it over the keyframes, left click and let go. Hit S to smooth out these two keyframes. If I'm on Windows, I hold Alt down. I believe it's Option on Mac. Left click and drag this to here. And that's gonna smooth out our animation. So now if I bring it back to the beginning and play this, but spacebar, you get that nice, smooth, tight text reveal. I really like that, right? Look at that, pops right through there. But we can make that just a little bit more realistic. You can see if I have the text hanging halfway out, the text isn't blurry, there's no motion blur. Let's come up here to spline, left click on this, come back here, left click on settings, and now we've got a motion blur box right here. Left click on that. By default, it has a quality of two and a shutter angle of 180. The higher this quality number, the better the animation is gonna look as far as the blur of the text. We'll just do two for now to, uh, to ease up on the computer a little bit. And shutter angle is an interesting one, so this can add you know a little more of a real feel to it. If I drag it to 360, it gets super blurry. If I go to zero, you can see the text has no blur at all, right? I like to just go default 180 most of the time. Do whatever you wanna do, experiment around with that a little bit. Let's go back to the beginning here, hit space bar again. And it's smooth now, 
and it has a little bit of motion blur to it, which I like, right? Just a little bit, a little blurry there, a little bit of realism. Now let's go to the timeline and check out our animation. Left click on edit. I've got the timeline on loop right here. So let's go to the beginning, hit spacebar, pops right out of there. Animation looks good. But one thing that's missing, right, is our animation isn't animating out, which makes it look a little bit, you know, kind of beginner. So we want it to look a little bit more real. We want it to pop up and in, and we want it to pop back out. Let's go back to the fusion tab, left click there. Now we want to animate out the same amount of frames that we animated in. So let's come from 144, it says 143, but there's one more frame there. So we go to 138. We're going to minus 24 frames off that because that's how long our original animation was. So we're going to go to 114. This is where the animation is going to start to pop back out. Left click on keyframe here, come back to 138. And now I can pick how I want this to animate out. If I just want to go off to the right, I can left click and hold the arrow and bring the text off to the right. Okay, I could do that. We could just come back down. We could go up. We can really do anything that we want. If we want to go in a crazy way, we could just go like this, okay? But I think what we're going to do, we're going to come from here and just zip off to the right. So left click and hold that arrow, just zip that off to the right. And you can bring this as far off as you want. If you really bring it far off the screen, it'll go even faster. Let's bring it to here for the moment, that's fine. Left click on spline. We have our two new keyframes that kind of pop up there. Left click and drag to highlight those. Hit S to smooth them out. Hold Alt on the top one, bring this over to smooth it out. So there we have what we want to see, okay? Left click on spline again. Let's watch this animation. What we see is that nice pop up up, right? A little bit of motion blur, nice and smooth. And now it animates off to the right, nice and smooth. Let's go back to the timeline to watch that on the timeline. Hit spacebar to play, pops up nice and smooth. And now we have that really nice smooth animation off to the right. And again, up and smooth, really like that and then it animates off to the right. Now, one reason I included the transform node, I'm gonna show you that really quick, kind of a bonus, is so that we don't lose our animation if we wanna move it around the screen. So let's say the center's cool, we like that, but we wanna make it a little bit different. Left click on transform, and the transform gives me the ability to take this and make this animation happen up here, down here, further to the right, further to the left. Let's just do it on the bottom here for a second. Let's go back to the timeline by left clicking on this. Let's go to the beginning here and hit spacebar. Now it pops up to the bottom and still pops up to the right here. We'll see that in a second, right? And I really like that. It gives me the ability through the transform node just to move the animation around without destroying where the text appears and pops up and having to redo keyframes, okay? So I really like that, that the transform gives you the ability to switch it up if you wanna make that animation happen in a different area on the screen. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you do it a different way inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. Or if there's something that you want to see with animation or text inside of Fusion, make sure you drop a comment down below. I'm Jason. We'll see you next time.